You know, to say the last few days have been tough for many folks, certainly going to be an understatement, but it's because the losses are being hugely felt as well, and the losses themselves are huge. And today, law enforcement investigating the death of one of their own and two others continued their work at the crime scene, a quiet residential corner just south of the Texas A&M campus. We'll have more on why some misbranding of this incident has folks on campus at work. That's in just a moment. But this afternoon, services were announced for those killed by Trace Caffel Monday afternoon in College Station. Christopher Norcliffe was the innocent bystander shot down the street from the home on Fidelity where it all began. According to the city of College Station, his funeral has been set for Saturday morning at 11. It will be held at Our Savior's Lutheran Church in College Station that is just north of the Rock Prairie exit off of Highway 6. Brazos County Constable Brian Bachman services were also announced today. A viewing will be held Friday from 6 to 9 p.m. at Christ United Methodist Church in College Station. That's also on Highway 6 between the Rock Prairie and William D. Fitch Parkway exits. Then on Saturday, a funeral service for Bachman will be held at Reed Arena starting at 2 p.m. Thousands of members of law enforcement from here in the Brazos Valley and across the state, if not the nation, are expected to come to the area to pay their respects. This weekend is also when Texas A&M students will be returning and it is a tax-free weekend. We are waiting on more details from authorities in the university concerning this event and when we get them, we'll update you on any roads that will be affected along with our coverage plans for Saturday as two members of the community are remembered. The spotlight has certainly been on the area as a result of this shooting and it's in a little bit of a way Clay Falls joining us now. It's been not exactly focused in the right place and Texas A&M is having to do a little bit of work on the back end of this trying to make sure that the focus is properly placed on this. That's right Steve. If you look on air and online some of the reporting for especially on the national scene are folks that aren't familiar with Bryan College Station as we are living here working here. There's been a lot of uh, misinformation on this taking place on campus if you do a, a Google search or internet search, you can find so many instances of, of it being called a Texas A&M campus shooting, a Texas A&M gunman. So Texas A&M right now, their marketing communications office is staying busy trying to kind of clarify that mis misinformation. We've got students moving in this weekend. They want people to know the campus is safe. One thing about them being so proactive is we saw code and maroon alerts going out within minutes of the shooting, but they um, specified the area was happening, but they didn't know initially if the shooting was happening on campus or if the gunman might be moving through the streets. Uh, south of campus and might you know, end up on campus so they gave that information out. We I spoke with uh, Jason Cook who's the Vice President for Communications and Marketing a little earlier over at A&M and here's how he uh, told us about handling the initial response. As the situation unfolded, uh, we didn't know uh, victims, we didn't know how many uh, names or affiliations of the university, and, and it was not until later um, that evening that we started to get some information that, uh, that there was not a Texas A&M student or faculty or staff member involved uh, in the incident. So, um, so there was a, a little bit of time, and that's why you didn't see us say that, hey, this isn't a Texas A&M event, because we didn't have enough information uh, to, to truly say that at that time. And from the folks you've been able to contact, have they been, um, or media outlets, but not, have they been understanding and willing to kind of change some of the, the wording on things, or have you had much of a response when, you know, pointing out some of the... It's a little bit of back and forth uh, with media, particularly when they're not familiar with uh, with College Station or the area. And Texas A&M is such a big part uh, of the community. We recognize that. And and so we've been working with them. It's an educational process here. But but again, Texas A&M is, is a major part of the community. And when the community aches and has a tragedy, Texas A&M has a tragedy as well. But we want to make sure that we continue to communicate to our campus community, particularly as the fall semester starts, that we believe our campus is one of the safest in the country, and uh, the events of this week don't change that fact. You know, Clay and I uh, both talked to different state and national medias as the coverage uh, went on on Monday, and there were so many questions coming into both of us, really, and in fact to our entire newsroom here, uh, just saying this shooting at Texas A&M. We use the term near Texas A&M throughout our coverage because obviously we live around here. We want to give you guys perspective on where this was happening, and so yes, it was a couple of blocks near the Texas A&M campus, but it's when it kind of filters out into the national spectrum and maybe that near 
Pioneer gets dropped off the map, the Texas A&M kind of gets into a little bit of an issue. I think, Sonia, you have that almost that domino effect where initially if one outlet says Texas A&M shooter, the others hear that or might be following the code maroon alerts, which the alerts themselves didn't say, didn't specify as you heard from Jason Cook on campus or near campus. People make that, that leap, especially after what we've seen in recent years with the Virginia Tech shooting. We just had the Aurora, Colorado shooting that um, you think of a, 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 a huge entity as Texas A&M is world, known worldwide and having this tragedy happen just within, you know, not even a quarter mile away, people make that leap and think it's all the same area, which is an easy mistake to make, but once it, that, that started, it just, there's no way to put, a, I guess, put a lid on that misinform misinformation once it, it's out there. So they really have been contacting as many media outlets as possible, and, and as Jason said, the buy-in has been, you know, I'm sure they would wish it was more, but they are discussing this matter and making sure, then again, Google is permanent in so many right. different ways, and so you right. Google Texas A&M mm -hmm. right now, and there's a shooting that pops mm -hmm. up as a result of it. Exactly, and the, usually mo all the articles we've seen, for the most part, have been, the information is accurate, it's just a lot of the headlines are misleading. It'll say Texas A&M shooter, but once you go into the body of it, it'll say near the campus or within distance of Kyle Field, so there's that. It's that fine line, and we know the truth and what ha what happened, but people at first glance might think there was uh, somebody running th you know, through the campus or a tragedy right on the campus. Still a tragedy, but the proximity, there, there's a big difference between between those two things. And now Texas A&M uh, going to be known for helping out as well in the mm -hmm. aftermath of this because the funeral service is going to be held for Brian Bachman coming up on Saturday at Reed Arena, which the university has been immensely helpful in trying to put together. Clay, we'll have more on this coming up tonight at 6 o'clock, but for now we appreciate yeah. that. Thank you very much. Sure. Stephanie Ando is coming mm -hmm. up uh, with Carla in just a moment to discuss some of the ways that you can help uh, the families and the friends of the victims in this incident. That is still to come here on First News at 4. This is First News at 4 with Carla Castillo, Kaylee Carey with weather, and Focus at 4 with Steve Fullhart. This is KBTX News 3 HD, the people you know, the news you trust.